Hey everybody, this is Natalie from Power Moon Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Today's reading is called Peacock Spirit Messages. Strut your stuff, okay? And um, this will be a pick a card reading and we're gonna be focusing on the animal, the peacock, okay? Or the bird, I should say. And here is from one of my decks, if you can see right here on the camera. Um, here is the peacock from one of my decks, okay? And so we're gonna have a little beginning intro here where I explain um, the medicinal value of peacock energy and talk about how it might relate to your life, okay? And if you wanna skip that part, you can totally go straight to your pile. Let me go through the piles first and you can find the description box below if you'd like to click on your pile, okay? So we have pile number one, which is the blue tea light. We have pile number two, which is the lime green tea light. And we have pile number three, which is the green tea light. And I loved picking these colors because they're very related to the peacock, right? With the blues and light greens and the dark greens and um, their beautiful tail, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. And for those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please hit the bell notification so that you don't miss when I go live. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, I do give personal readings. I love doing them. And there's all the information below in my description box for how to book one with me. Also, if you'd like to check out my other YouTube channel, Light of Ascension Tarot, I do have another channel with other readings on it, more spiritual and nature type readings. And um, also, if you'd like to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, details for how to do so are below, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna talk to you guys about the peacock spirit just a little bit here before we begin, okay? So interestingly, male peacocks are actually called peacocks. Female peacocks are called pea hens. Okay, so in this reading, we're gonna be talking about using yang energy in a positive way, okay? And whether you're a man or woman, we all have yin and yang within us. And most people know peacocks because of their beautiful feathers, which are oftentimes called a train. And peacocks aren't really born with this. Peacocks are actually born without all the feathers and without all the beauty. They basically, within the first three years of their life, they develop their beautiful train and their feathers, okay? And um, the larger the train or the larger the feathers um, that the peacock has, that allows them to court the female peacock, okay? So when they're spreading their tail out and making it look really vibrant and beautiful, that is a courtship ritual. It is a mating ritual to attract a mate, okay? And peacocks communicate in a low pitch that humans can't hear. Peacocks can actually fly and um, they can run up to 10 miles per hour too, which is really interesting. And um, what they're doing with their with their feathers is really to impress a potential mate as much as possible, right? So that whole thing with peacock energy of like strutting your, ch you know, strutting your stuff. And a lot of them, if you look at pictures of them, it looks like their chest is kind of like protruding and they're kind of pushing it forward. Like, look at me, you know? <laughs> so peacocks can also be quite aggressive and territorial at times too. Um, when people or when other peacocks are, honing in on their territory. They can really be quite aggressive and territorial. And the tail of the peacock covers 60% of their bodies and it looks like it's a majestic fan, okay? And um, a lot of peacocks are associated with rain and the, the upcoming rain because during monsoon season, they make these meowing type sounds that indicate that rain is coming, okay? So a lot of times peacocks are associated with, you know, when they're doing a certain jig, it's associated with, okay, the rain is coming. And um, like I said, they can be territorial with strangers and their tails and their feathers will vibrate, vibrate during courtship and they call it train rattling at the end of each mating season. The feathers will um, molt and, and be removed and then their feathers will regrow them larger and fuller for the next mating season, okay? And peahens, who are the female peacocks, are picky 
when choosing a mate and they usually do go by visual display and the vibrations that they're getting from the train rattling. Okay. And when we say like, you know, a lot of times when we're dancing, we say shake a tail feather, which to me, that sounds like a peacock thing, right? So there's a song I think by Nelly called like from the, you know, 90s, early 2000s, bend over, let me see you shake a tail feather. Okay. That <laughs> kind of sounds peacock to me. Um, peacocks also have a floating crown. So you can see here that look at the picture of the peacock you can see the crest or the floating crown they have feathers that come out of their head that are like above their head okay and the females actually will sense the vibrating tail of the male and their crown or their crest will actually like sense that so it's very interesting the way that peacocks have evolved over the years to kind of um, recognize each other and come together for the the, you know, for increasing the species and continuing on the species, okay? They also molt and shed their skin like snakes do at the end of mating, mating season, which is very interesting. And um, also I read that peahens, when peahens, that's a female, female peacocks, when they age, they start to look more like the males, okay? Probably because of hormonal changes. Um, yeah, so also I was reading that they, the males will let out a high-pitched hooting noise during mating season, and it seems like they're dancing in the rain. So that's pretty cool, all right? So for those of you that identify with peacock energy as far as an animal totem, we can talk about, you know, positive yang energy. Peacocks are also not born beautiful, and typically in about three years, they become more beautiful, right? So becoming who you need to be, you know, expressing that positive yang energy in the world. And then we have uh, the peacock is actually the national bird of India, which is really interesting. And peacocks are often associated with spectacular beauty. There's actually pure white peacocks too, which is interesting. Uh, most of the time we think of them as like that blue and green type of color, okay? And if you have a peacock animal totem, then we can talk about leadership, beauty, sophistication, dignity, psychic vision, because on the peacock's tails, all the little dots on it look like eyes. If you look at them, they look like eyes or they look like you know, that psychic vision or that third eye. Also, a lot of people associate the little dots on the tail feather um, with like the evil eye and rewarding away um, evil spirits, okay? And um, also peacocks associated with love and pride, strutting your stuff, vanity, um, the crown, you know, with the crown crest that the peacocks have. And um, yeah, so like I said before, uh, peacocks are harbingers of rain and they dance when it's about to rain and a lot of people say that the peacock tail is like the eyes of the star and the early alchemist also said that peacocks are the earthly form of the phoenix and they represent resurrection so for those of you that love the phoenix um, a lot of alchemists would say the peacock is the earthly version of that and when we're talking about peacock energy we some questions we may be thinking about is, are we wasting our time explaining ourselves too, too much, trying to get others to understand us, okay? Are you not valuing yourself? Are you going for a competitive job and you need to stand out? Do you need to strut your stuff? Have you been feeling empty or ill lately? And peacock energy, removing negative energy um, as well. Are you living with truth and honesty, with those beautiful blue vibrant colors, we can talk about the throat chakra, all right? Are we living in truth and honesty? And with peacock, we don't want to hide because of shame, all right? Does life feel dull and drab, right? Because peacocks are anything but dull and drab. drab. Also, peacocks associated with the sense of watchfulness and being a little bit aggressive and territorial. They've even been known to attack their own reflection, <laughs> when they think it's some another bird, okay, which is kind of funny. Um, so if you need to be, like, there's sometimes we need to be a little bit more aggressive or territorial about something in life, okay? And we need to be proud and hold our heads up high and dance and have some joy and beauty and leadership in our life, okay? 
And the peacock, you know, if, if peacock energy could say anything, it would say, if you got it, flaunt it. Okay. So no holding back. And, um, I think it's beautiful how they shed their feathers and then they come back and regrow their feathers even more, even stronger, okay? Just like a snake would do. So a very interesting bird, a lot of their qualities are used to attract a mate. So we'll probably be talking about that in the readings as well. We'll see what comes up for everybody, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the reading and you can certainly um, go directly to the description box below and find the pile that resonates with you. And uh, yeah, if you wanna watch more than one pile, you're more than welcome to. I got our peacock friend here in front of me so I can see him as I am doing your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm, I'm using the Love Your Inner Goddess book by Alana Fairchild. So I have her reference book right here in case we need that. Let's go ahead and get into it, everybody. Pile number one, welcome to your reading. You chose the blue tea light and today's reading is called Peacock Spirit Messages Strut Your Stuff, okay? And I did a whole intro on the peacock and, you know, strutting your stuff and why, why the peacock is associated with that. So if you're interested, you can listen to the intro of this video, especially for those of you that feel like peacock energy very close to you or that it's an animal totem for you, okay? Or you've been seeing a lot of them lately. Let's go ahead and get into it. Spirits, angels, and guides, please connect me to the energy of pile number one who comes here today seeking your guidance. Thank you for allowing me to be the medium and the channel between yourself and pile number one. Okay, pile number one. <sighs> Deep breath. And um, okay, Spirit just said baby grand piano to me. So maybe some of you had one of those growing up or you like music or somebody you know that's really close to you is a musician or someone plays music a lot. But Spirit is talking to me about that. Um, okay. Also, like the movers that have to move those grand pianos. Can you guys imagine? That's a lot of work. Um, but anyway, pile number one, I digress. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, Spirit's showing me a, a tomato or a tomato, however you prefer to call it. Pile number one, maybe you said you say tomato, I say tomato to someone recently, or you've got something tomato flavored um going on around you okay uh like a tomato it's summertime but like a tomato bisque soup or um you know maybe some flatbread with cheese and tomato i'm getting a little hungry over here pile number one <laughs> a little snack maybe for you pile number one would be a good idea let's see what else here let's see what else okay Okay, it says I something about I can't control the future, okay? Like I can only live in the present moment. I can't control the future, all right? So maybe some of you have been thinking about that le lately and have been trying to like take it easy or take it easy on yourself or not go too overboard with trying to control things. What else, okay? Spirit is showing me like a five-pointed star pile, number one. Maybe you have some jewelry or some earrings or something that have stars on them. What else here for pile number one as far as channeled messages? All right, Spirit just showed me Pepto-Bismo. So maybe some of you have been, you know, having um, little tummy things going on recently or it was feeling kind of sore the other night or something like that, pile number one, okay? I hate little tummy things, all right? Spirit's also talking to me about pepper or black ground pepper or pepper, okay? So maybe... Some of you love a lot of pepper on your food or you, I don't know, pile number one, you tell me in the comments how, if it resonates for you. Let's go ahead and get into it for pile number one, please. All right. And, um, or just something pepper. Okay. That could be a last name. It could be a nickname for someone like, like salt and pepper. All right. Pile number one. So let's go ahead and get into your reading. We're going to find out about the peacock spirit. What energy would the peacock spirit like to share with my pile number ones, please? What energy with pile number ones? Okay, so we have the eight of swords, that whole idea of, I also spirit was telling me something about something that got very long and drawn out in your life, okay? And 
I feel like some of you might be like, is this even like worth my time anymore? And, um, you know, just about something in your life here. Okay. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I also feel there's with the world on the bottom of the deck, I feel like there's something that needs to be communicated here or a misunderstanding that needs to be cleared up. Okay. And I'm just hearing like, you can't keep pile number one in the dark forever. At some point, the energy of a situation that you've been going through is going to shift. And I feel like you're going to understand it more, pile number one, and you're going to understand what you need to do, okay? I think some of you may know what you need to do about a situation in your life. You're just, you know, hesitant. You're a little hesitant maybe to move forward or to move on about something, okay? But I think you know, I think you know what's the right, in your heart of hearts, I feel like you know what the right thing to do is. Is You may just not, you know, it's like a procrastination thing. If I keep avoiding something or if someone keeps avoiding something with you, eventually, um, eventually something has to become concrete here, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles and the Tarot um, represents Taurus energy. Okay, and some of you may have been feeling like things are just not moving, like things are moving very, very slowly in your life or things are not moving. Uh, maybe even when it comes to money for some of you too, like, you know, things are not moving and I know I need to do something here, but I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so we're going to find out what's going on. Pile number one, we're going to get all the cards out and then I'm going to go into it. We have karma, untying the knots of karma. Okay, talking about untying the knots with the Eight of Swords. Okay, time to get some clarity and some direction here. We have flow, surrender to the journey and see where it will take you. Yeah, I was talking about that. Hey, I, I can only, you know, do what I can in the present moment. I can't, you know, control the future. Okay, so Spirit is wanting you to surrender to the journey and see where it will take you or the because the peacock has to do with confidence you know what i mean like strutting your stuff and the nine of pentacles is a little more hesitant to strut their their stuff okay possibly because the knight of pentacles doesn't completely know what the next step is or what they should do okay does that describe you pile number one or someone in your life okay um but a situation that's not moving anywhere where things are really tied up, okay? And, you know, peacock energy talking about confidence as well. And like the confidence to just go with the flow and surrender to the journey. We have release. You don't need to hold on to someone who no longer serves you. Yeah, flow and release, okay? And just like the peacocks, they... They shed their skin just like snakes at the at the end of the mating season. And then when a new mating season starts, they the feathers come back, okay? And they come back even bigger and brighter. So maybe some of you here real hesitant to release, a, release something that has been very, like, do you see what I'm doing with my hands right now, pile number one, that's been very tied together. And it could be because of resources, et cetera, but something that's very, very tied up and um, talking about flow and release here, okay? You don't need to hold on to someone who is no longer serving you in life. It is time to untie the knots of a karmic situation so that you can take determined action to move forward. We have the seeds and we have springtime. So, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is all about planting that seed in the springtime. There might have been something happening. We're just coming out of spring and going into summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. So we have the seeds of what's happening now were laid in the springtime. We have the North Node and Cosmic Purpose. Okay, I love that for you guys, okay? And um, the message I'm getting here is this situation is holding me back, okay? And I feel like a lot of you could have been giving a lot of energy to something, not knowing where it was going to go. And, you know, I mean, in that case, flow, you're giving a lot of energy to something, not knowing where it's going to go, right? But if it's a person that you've had an overly complex pattern of karmic relation, relating to them, 
then it is time to release something, okay? Because sometimes going with the flow without thinking can also make us overly passive about our life, okay? We have Libra here and the idealist, okay? You know, it's like with the Eight of Swords, even though this situation is fucked up, I'm still gonna try, you know, with the Knight, the Pentacles. And um, some of you may have a, something going on with a Libra. Maybe you have Libra in your chart, but there's something karmic related here with, um, with something Libra, okay? And um, talk about being graceful and considerate and obliging, even though other people may not, by you doing that, it's making things harder for you. I feel like pile number one at times, okay? And um, also we can talk about being indecisive, right? And sometimes when we're indecisive about a person or a relationship, um, you know, it's, <laughs> it makes us feel like we're moving backwards or that we're going to be tied up in this knot forever, okay? And I talked about the tummy and the Pepto-Bismo at the beginning of the channeled messages. So maybe some of you being kind of your stomach being tied up in knots and you know, it's like, I just want a clear direction here, right? I just want a clear direction here. And, um, you know, some of you may have been putting a lot of effort into something without knowing where it's going. But with Libra energy, Libra energy really looks for cooperative energy, pile number one. So maybe that is what has been going on for you is that people haven't been cooperating appropriate appropriately with you. Yeah, we have anxiety and flow and um, talking about the stomach and knots or surrendering to the journey to see where it will take you, flowing with it, needing to kind of release some anxiety, getting ourselves all, all caught up in knots and not being able to make decisions, right? And um, yeah, so I feel like with Peacock energy, like their tails, their beautiful tails are only available for that current mating season, right? So it's like you snooze, you lose. And if that's, you know, kind of the end of the road, then it's like, okay, now I'm going through a process of change and, you know, so-and-so is going to have to wait till next year or I'm going to have to wait till next year. Okay. So maybe some of you have been going through that and thinking if I don't make a decision and, you know, punch the gas pedal on something, I am going to lose out, but I'm also feeling anxiety about this, okay? So it's that weighing of things out with that Libra energy, okay? We have here, I have power and it is real, okay? This is coming out under release. You don't need to hold on to someone who no longer serves you. I have power and it is real. And um, this is a full moon card here. So full moons may have been big release points for you guys in the last you know, since springtime, which would have been, you know, the um, spring equinox going forward until now, like, you know, March 20th to going the beginning of Aries season till now, basically, okay? And um, some of you may have been going through a huge release cycle in the last, you know, three or four months, okay? And um, so many changes, though, they can create anxiety. And with this Libra energy, it's like, am I doing this right or what? Am I making the right decision here? Or am I just adding more trouble onto my plate? We have number 44. I am supported. Yeah. And um, with the North Node and Cosmic Purpose here, um, you know, some of you, this could involve a work situation or a work thing or work ordeal, all right, that has been making you have anxiety or tying you up in knots, okay? For some of you, it could be a relationship too with this releasing of a person. Maybe it's both, all right? Um, but with this master number 44, it says, I am supported, right? And um, I feel like with the eight of swords and the knight of pentacles, you guys have unflinchingly and unquestioningly supported others and supported people in what they want to do with their lives, North Node, Cosmic Purpose, okay? But maybe you haven't always seen that energy come back to you in the form of others. And um, maybe you don't always feel that supported, like that, you know, it's like, who's going to be there for me, okay? Uh, some of you have been planting seeds, though, since springtime here. And um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show, all right, with dedicated effort. I am supported. 
Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination, right? The Knight of Pentacles. Continue on your present life path with diligence and determination. And, it, and that's that healthy yang energy that I was talking about um, with the peacock energy in the beginning of the video, that healthy yang, diligence, determination, and even greater success will come in the future. I am supported, okay? So taking some real action um, here, to maybe for you guys towards your cosmic purpose and towards what you're meant to be doing. And, you know, there's always that time when we feel like giving up on something because it's like, I don't know where any of this is going and it doesn't feel like my efforts are really making a difference, right? With the eight of swords here, all right? Um, but I feel like, you know, I feel like spirit is saying, we got you, you know, we're, we're right here with you. And there may be someone in your life, pile number one, it could be a Taurus, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, somebody that does really want to support you on your life path or somebody that wants to help you um, maybe make some decisions or actually really does want to support you. The Eight of Swords in the Tarot is Jupiter in Gemini um, and Jupiter is in detriment in Gemini. So it's not the best sign for Jupiter to be in. And you can tell the Eight of Swords looks very uncomfortable when you look at the image and um, you know, I, I think something with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles to think about is what is this situation teaching me, right? Um, because I do feel there's a lot here, you know? It says, I have power and it is real. The Knight of Pentacles is very real, you know what I mean? Out of all the Knights, it's like, okay, let's make this thing a reality, all right? And, um, you know, on one hand, it's great to flow with the universe and not try to over control things, pile number one. On the other hand, like sometimes we need to make a call and release somebody too, okay? And maybe some of you have some anxiety about like showing your own power, okay? Or or finally making the decision to cut something off or the decision to kind of, and I don't feel like it's a really harsh cut off, like F you, I'm out of here. I feel like it's more like a gentle release, but maybe it is hard to, for some of you, it may be hard to imagine your life without something in it. Okay, and that may be where it's kind of tying you up. Okay, and with the details, with the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, the details uh, may have been a little bit hard to get a handle on, but I feel like with dedication, you guys are gonna do that, pile number one, okay? We have healing. Yeah, that's beautiful. And, um, you know, maybe some of you here are suffering from anxiety and, you know, wondering how things are going to turn out. All right. And a lot of us do. I know I've struggled with anxiety my whole life, pile number one. And um, so I can relate to you a lot. I'm seeing the name Phil. Okay. Phil. I'm also seeing EM like M or Emily or someone who goes by M for short. I'm also seeing an E and an A or a C and an A. Okay. And, um, <laughs> Spirit's just giving me initials here, okay? And I feel like A plus something, A plus F or A plus G is here, all right? So there is something going on. There's a lot going on in the background here, pile number one. Like, you know, should I stay? Should I go? There's a boat in the back. It's like, should I Should I just leave a situation? You know, there's there's a bunch of food and there's a couple wine bottles behind her. You know, there's a lot going on in her head right now. But, um, you know, the peacocks has that beautiful floating crown or crest on top of their heads. And especially the female peacocks here too, or the there's really no female, the, the female peahens, um, you know, their mate really is the one that attracts them, not the other way around, okay? And I do feel like you guys need some space for healing and you need, and healing is also very powerful. Also healing um, doesn't just happen in one, you know, in one sitting, it happens over, over time, over a whole lifetime, really, okay? So we have healing here, healing anxiety, I have power and it is real. 
And we have here the Princess Savior. Oh my goodness, pile number one. This princess saves herself or himself, okay? So this prince or princess will save themselves, all right? And um, very interesting, pile number one. I'm seeing the fish here, and this is number 12, so some of you may have Pisces in your chart, or you may have a bunch of 12th house planets. Um, but, you know, uh, this princess savior, look at her crown, right? And the peacock has the crown or the crest, the floating crown. And um, that's how the female uh, version of the peacock, that's how she senses if she wants a mate or not, because she can hear or sense her, her crown can sense the tail rattling, okay? Uh, but this is a very defiant princess, and she's saying, I don't need anybody to save me. I'll save myself, okay? And that's confidence. I love that energy. I'm just going to read a little bit on this card for you guys in pile number one. Okay, even if you're feeling uncertain about facing a challenge, believe in yourself, pile number one. You are strong enough to conquer this. There will be help if you need it, right? You are supported. Um, but you already have the inner resources required to overcome any obstacles, Knight of Pentacles, right? And attain the most blessed outcome. If you're in the process of letting go of someone or something, release, okay? Uh, perhaps an old habit or an old way of life, a relationship or a situation in which you have felt trapped, the Eight of Swords, right? Don't allow insecurity or uncertainty to stop you. Yeah, I talked about having the confidence to make certain decisions. You've got this and you are doing the right thing and moving on, okay? So I talked about, even in the intro, I was talking about moving. I mentioned moving and uh, talked about moving a baby grand piano, but really just the energy of moving something, you know? And um when you realize you're strong enough to save yourself, which you are, you never have to be afraid again. As well as inner strength, you have inner wisdom. Deep within, you just know when some, something or someone is not worthy of your time, energy, and attention. Yeah, the crown, the crest, sensing, all right? And peacock's also associated with the third eye and psychic energy, all right? And um, the most precious treasure that you will ever have is the divine gift of yourself. There is nothing more valuable and no one that is worth losing yourself over. I actually said that to a friend of mine who was going through a lot in relationship stuff. And I told him, you know, no relationship. If you're in a relationship and it feels like you need to make a decision between yourself and the other person, you have to choose yourself every time. Okay. And um, because, you know, how much time are we going to waste and lose because we're not living our cosmic purpose, because we're not moving towards the things, you know, we're holding ourselves back, all right? Maybe because we think we have bad karma or we can't make decisions or, you know, we're having trouble releasing something so that we can heal. You know what I'm saying, pile number one? So, you know, talking about the peacock energy, also talking about feeling valuable within yourself, okay? You don't need permission from anyone other than yourself to decide to walk away from what isn't right for you or to stand your ground and honor your values or to say no and refuse to give in to social pressures. You can be open to help and grateful for assistance, but you also know that what, whenever you need it, you have the power to learn, to act, and to figure it out and to find the love within that will empower you for the life that you deserve, okay? So that is what I am getting for you, pile number one. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more cards here from the Peacock Spirit to you, pile number one, all talking about the confidence to make decisions and to let go and to um, value yourself, okay, and to know that you're supported in what you want to do here. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead, okay? Let's go ahead and see. Some of you may have had a like an earth sign ancestor who is really helping you guys and directing you to your path. Hey, even if it takes us a long time to get where we're going, it's okay. You know, like when it comes to our cosmic purpose and our path in life, sometimes it's really, really slow going. You know what I'm saying? Pile number one. 
But the thing is, is that we get up each day and take a step towards it, okay? So what is the peacock energy like to tell my pile number ones here? What is the advice from peacock spirit to pile number one? What is the advice here to pile number one, please? What is the advice to pile number one from the, okay? We have the king of wands, yeah. And oh, the knight of wands, all right. Oh, oh, geez, what is going on? And we have the king of cups on the bottom of the deck, Pisces, okay? The king of cups representing Pisces. And, um, you know, the knight of wands and the king of wands, the audacity, right? And um, I feel like some of you may be dealing, you know, the peacock can also have a temper and be very territorial and aggressive. And to me, that kind of reminds me of fire sign energy. In the tarot, the Knight of Wands is a Leo and the King of Wands is a Sagittarius, right? So, you know, it's like, I want something so bad, but I feel like someone is blocking me or I feel like something is blocking me or I'm watching everyone else, you know, go after like what they want and their purpose in life. And I'm watching them, you know, lighting that match and, and pushing forward, but you know, what about me, okay? And it may seem like other people just don't care. Like they're pursuing their ambitions, their dreams, their realities with, you know, with whatever. And if you're keeping yourself small or you're keeping yourself held back um, because other people aren't really seeing you, they aren't really recognizing you, or maybe some of you feel like other people are, you know, like more flashy at times, okay? And I just feel like you guys are being encouraged to make decisions and to take action and to not worry about what everyone else is doing. And I know that it's anxiety producing. And if it's not something that you're used to, like, you know, you may think, well, I'm being selfish, you know? Um, I don't wanna be selfish because I feel like that's not really your energy pile number one. But, you know, I feel like this Knight of Wands is is kicking this King of Wands in the ass. So, you know, it may be your guide. It may be someone in your life um, coming up from behind to kick the King of Wands in the butt. All right. And uh, that's interesting, isn't it? And I feel like you guys look at the way other people are in the world like it's dog eat dog, other people trying to knock people out of their positions, you know, people who work to get to where they want and then some, you know, young person that doesn't know anything coming up behind to knock someone else off off a pedestal type of thing. And I just feel like you guys don't really like, you know, want to be a part of any kind of nastiness, okay? But I I think here like this says I have power and it is real, okay? So if you guys have felt like you've seen other people out there pursuing what they want, what they wanna do, and they're out there, you know, having a lot of energy and vitality about it, and you're just like, I'm just as good as these people, right? With the King of Cups, I'm just as good as they are, but they're getting more attention or something, okay? And I feel like if that's a, a thing for you, pile number one, then there is something here about, um, you know, realizing like that you have power and that it, it's real. And maybe you're not always as flashy as other people all the time, okay, pile number one, but you connect deeply with people and um, you're very, very good at what you do or you're going to be very good at what you do. And you're not gonna do it like everyone else is doing it. So I just want you guys, to, if you guys feel like people are Get, getting what they want from you and then leaving your life or things like that. Okay. I feel like spirit is just saying, you know, we're going to kick, we're going to kick, we're going to kick you into gear. Okay. And it's okay if you want to be a bit more demanding or you want to be a bit more, you know, um, my way or the highway <laughs> file number one. It's okay for you to get your yang on. Do you know what I'm saying? That peacock energy is very yang. Okay, and we have Scorpio here too. So we have the King of Cups, Death, and and the um, Ten of Pentacles, okay? So something about a living situation might be changing as well too. There's the Fool, okay? Um, I feel like you guys are gonna find something. If you're releasing something with Death and letting it go, I think the situation that you're gonna walk into with the Fool and the Ten of Pentacles is something so much better, okay? And... Um, 
you know, it's invigorating and fun and it builds wealth in your life, okay, with the Ten of Pentacles. So that is what I am getting for you, pile number one. Let me know if that re reading resonated for you. And um, if you have some thoughts on it, I'd love to hear your comments. And I so appreciate your likes, shares, and your subscription. If you enjoyed my reading, I do have a little tip jar in my description box if you feel like showing me some love. Thank you so much, pile number one, and take care. Let's move on to pile number two, okay? Let's move on to pile number two. Okay. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. You chose the lime green tea light and today's reading is called Peacock Spirit Messages. Strut your stuff. Okay, pile number two. So we are going to go ahead and get into it. If you're wondering what does a peacock have to do with that, you can listen to my intro. I go over peacock medicine. I go over it as a totem. I go over actual facts about the peacock as well. So we're going to be talking about getting out of your comfort zone and strutting your stuff. All right, pile number two with confidence and vigor. All right, and um, Spirit just told me something about armor, okay? So maybe some of you, you know that song, I put my armor on, so we are strong. Um, put my armor on. I'm invincible, I'm unstoppable today, okay? That reminds me of that song by um, Sia called Unstoppable. It's a very like, you know, she's like, I'm invincible today. I'm unstoppable. I win every single race, okay? That peacock energy, that competitive, if you need a competitive advantage. All right, so pile number two, let's get into it. Spirits, angels, and guides, please connect me to the energy of pile number two, who comes here today seeking your guidance. Thank you for allowing me to be the medium in the channel between yourself and pile number two. Okay, Spirit's showing me a tiger, and I feel like, you know, it's a tiger getting ready to leap, and it's like, get ready, okay? Um, so, you know, like that whole thing of like stalking your prey and watching things carefully and, you know, big cat energy, which is that confidence, okay? File number two, and um, yeah, so also like an orange tiger. Also, someone could have like an orange is there an orange tabby cat or someone has an orange cat or something like that? Okay, pile number two. Spirit is just talking to me about that as well. Let's see what else, okay? I feel like I'm seeing a chain linked fence with a um, padlock on it, okay? And, you know, it's kind of like one of those scenes from a movie where there's like a junkyard behind it and a really loud barking dog. Uh, but anyway, something here about something that's been chained up and needs to kind of, it's like release the hounds. You know what I'm saying? Pile number two. So maybe some of you are just, you know, also you may have been around some people who are itching for a fight, or maybe you've been around that type of energy because peacocks can also be quite aggressive and, tutor and um, territorial. Okay. So aggressive and territorial. Let's see what else here for pile number two, please. Okay. <laughs> Spirit is telling me about an arachnid, which um, could be like arachnids. An example of that I think would be like a scorpion. Okay. So maybe we have some Scorpios in this pile. Maybe you know someone close to you with a lot of Scorpio. Um, <laughs> All right, spirits like indivisible, like something like a number that's indivisible, but I also heard like indivisible with liberty and justice for all, okay? So to me, that kind of reminds me of the 4th of July. Maybe you guys have some 4th of July plans. All right, pile number two. So let's go ahead and get into it um, because I do feel like there, there's a there's a heated moment that has been going on, pile number two, a tension or heated moment. And it's like, should I keep, with the seven of sword and the swords and five of cups here, should I keep, um, I feel like some of you have disconnected from something, but there's a part of you that is still curious, you know, that keeps kind of looking back or keeps wondering or you know, keeps an eye on a situation or your pulse on the finger of a situation here. And um, I also feel like some of you with the five of cups on the bottom of the deck could be going through something challenging, 
but on the outside, maybe you're acting like it doesn't bother you. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's like, don't let, don't let the bastards get you down, right? Pile number two, or maybe some of you needing to, um, you know, needing to take time to grieve. We have the queen of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. Let's, oh, there's the five of cups. I literally just shuffled and the five of cups um, flew out of the deck, okay? So this five of cups is saying, you know, like, I don't know what to do about this situation anymore. And I'm not sure if there is anything I can do about it. But with the seven of swords, I feel like some of you still may be questioning yourself a little bit. Okay. Um, also, there could be a situation of, you know, I feel sad about a situation, like I said earlier, but I can't show it. Or I should be feeling sad but I'm not, you know, like I've gotten past that. And maybe people are wondering, like, why aren't you upset about something? Or why don't you feel sad about something anymore? File number two. And okay. And it's like, you know, I'm done with that, with the seven of swords here. I don't want to feel that way anymore. Also, the seven of swords can be very tricky. Okay. Um, so a tricky, a tricky, tricky time here that is going to take some finessing pile number two but let's go ahead and see stretch your stuff right stretch your stuff with the seven of swords don't care what other people think i'm independent i don't care what anybody else thinks i'm not going to keep myself locked away forever you know fuck that i'm going to get back out there again even if i'm not totally ready you know i don't care like you can't keep me locked up in in the closet or you can't keep me locked up in something forever Okay, and um, I mentioned Scorpio in the beginning of the reading. And the Five of Cups is a Scorpio card. It's Mars and Scorpio. Okay, so, and then we have an Aquarius card here with the moon and Aquarius. So we could have Scorpio Aquarius here. We have Dimensional Gateway and Invitation. Okay, an Invitation. Let's see what else we have here. Standing at the Threshold, an Invitation power oh my god look at the tiger pile number two look at your tiger oh my god it says power find your inner strength wow pile number two i love that and you know the seven of swords is a real kind of fake it till you make it type of a card um but it also can make us like second guess ourselves too and it is kind of a klutzy kind of fumbling around type of a card okay so you know, with the five of cups being like, you know, this situation really isn't going to change and, you know, it, I'm going to be stuck in this forever type of thing. But we have this dimensional gateway here and an invitation for you to find your power and to find your inner strength. Okay, pile number two. And we have here astral travel. You seek adventure while you are sleeping. Ooh, pile number two. Hey, now. And, um, you know, here's a dimensional gateway or a portal or an invitation and um, astral travel pile number two. OK, and I'm not afraid, you know, peacock energy is healthy yang energy and it can it's very much about confidence and power and strength and not being afraid to show who you are, okay? Even if you don't feel all the way ready, you know, with the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords, maybe not feeling quite all the way ready. And just as soon as I said that, here comes the limitations and the fears, right? To make us question ourselves with the Five of Cups, like, you know, can anything ever turn out good for me? I think something's going well, and then it falls apart on me or it crumbles, you know? And um, yeah. But I also feel like some of you have felt this way in the past, okay? And you're like, I'm not going back to that anymore. And I'm not going to get let myself get sucked into those fears or those energies anymore, okay? And um, yeah, I also feel like some of you could have been dealing with a negative yang energy. Like somebody who has disappointed you many, many times somebody who has run off on you, someone who has cheated on you, someone who hasn't been loyal to you. And um, also too, like some of you may have had parents that oftentimes left and left you alone or, you know, would promise to like go to your game or promise to pick you up and then 
they would show up for five minutes and leave, or they always had some type of an excuse, or, you know, or you were with people like this who, especially for some of you that had fathers that were not very reliable or dependable, um, and maybe some of you have chosen some mates like that or have gotten into some relationship situations and it's like is this gonna always be my thing right because the thing is with the peacocks is that the males flash their tails and do uh, rattle them and you know do a little dance to get the women to notice them right and it is kind of superficial because it's like i have the biggest tail and i look the best right but I mean, and sometimes those superficial situations, right? The Seven of Swords can draw us into their web and then we're left like, you know, this thing didn't work or all it's done is made me sad, right? So there could also be like a, a superficiality issue, um, like things looking good on the surface, like I mentioned earlier, but still being upset about something, pile number two. And um, yeah, I also feel like, you know, you guys are just like, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with that type of person anymore. I really don't. And that's where this power and finding your inner strength is coming in. And I feel like if you guys have been feeling very heavy emotionally, and one of the questions I asked at the beginning when I was talking about the peacock totem is, have you been feeling like very dull and lifeless in your energy? Okay. Because I feel like you guys are seeking adventure with this astral travel. And you may just be seeking adventure in general, you know, going to different places, an invitation, travel, um, checking out different things, right? Not staying stuck in the same energy, like getting yourself out there, all right? And we have family, home, and commitment. And we can see a person here wearing a ring. And you can see these two little baby sketchers, like they look like, um, Sketcher, or not the sketchers, but what are those? The Converse? What are they called? I can't think of them right now. But the little baby shoes, they're so cute. And um, family, home, and commitment, okay? And, you know, as I was talking to you about before, you guys meeting a lot of people who, you know, when peacocks are courting, it's really the females that have all the power, you know? And um, peacocks aren't always monogamous is the thing though. And I feel like some of you may have dealt with people who've been very shady, you know, very, very shady pile number two and haven't really, and some of you here, you may wanna have a family. You may wanna have a home with someone. You may wanna have a long-term commitment with someone, okay? Or some of you could have taken that chance with someone and then found out, you know, there are no good, dirty loser. Okay. Um, but I feel like what the peacocks are saying is opening yourself up, um, to new opportunities with this dimensional gateway and invitation. All right. And sometimes shitty situations are actually helping us understand our power and what we truly, what our soul is truly craving. Maybe some of you go back and forth between like wanting an adventure versus wanting family. Okay. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and see. We have the fifth house and passion. Ooh, that tiger getting ready to leap, right? That passion and um, peacock energy putting on this like show to draw in a mate, to experience that passion. Um, and it's fun, you know? I imagine mating season for a peacock is actually fun, okay? So I feel like here, it's fun for you guys when you get a chance to strut your stuff and show your power and um, like throw the door open on the things in the past that would have limited you or held you back, okay? And I do think some of you are in need of some passion and some animalistic passion type of energy, okay? And um, the fifth house in astrology talking about our creativity. Also children, children and pleasure. In ancient astrology, the fifth house was associated with children, like the children that you have and pleasure, okay? So we have family, home, and commitment and taking a lot of you know passion and joy in that. Uh, a lot of creativity, parties, costumes, 
you know, humor, all this kind of disco ball. It even says here, <laughs> having fun, okay? And um, also love affairs is here too, okay? So some of you may have had some love affairs that didn't go the way you wanted to, or maybe you dealt with somebody um, who used like their sexual power in a way that was very negative, okay? Or very superficial. And I'm sorry, pile number two, if you've had to deal with that. Here you are, the queen of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, enduring, lovely, beautiful, deep, all that you are, okay? We have here frustration. Yeah, um, seeking adventure and feeling frustrated. Maybe some of you um, have been very frustrated in your day-to-day -day life and life has felt very dull. And it's like, what do I need to do to get out of this funk? Like, should I do something with the seven of swords? I feel like it's like, do something unique, do something original and do something that's like very unplanned and maybe people don't expect you to do. And um, because peacock energy is very unique and original and beautiful, okay? And um, peacock energy associated with spectacular beauty okay pile number one or pile number two and i just called you pile number one because it's one 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 on my clock right now see that pile number two one 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 all right so frustration like i can't move from the position that i'm in right um or meeting people that are very incompatible with you that are just not compatible um and i mean i feel like you're a very powerful person pile number two and you're going to be given many chances in life to, you know, to be passionate, to be creative, to travel, to have a home, to have a family, to have commitment. You're going to be given a chance to have all of this. Um, I feel like some of you have felt blocked up about this, though, pile number two, because of some of the, like, people that you've been around, you know. And that's understandable. I get it. All right. We have here, I am honest with myself and others. Yeah, I talked about, you know, kind of acting. And sometimes, like I said, with the peacock energy, it's, it is fake it until you make it, you know? And, um, you know, we have to decide, is that me just not wanting to deal with something and not make the effort to kind of get out of my funk? Or do I have more emotions to process here? And am I just avoiding that? Um, are people not being honest with me? I talked about, you know, you guys having dealt with liars and cheaters and users or scoundrels. Okay. And it says here, I am honest with myself and others, you know, self honesty about whether you're really happy or not. Okay. And for those of you, um, that have been trying to tell yourself, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, even though this person is, is clearly, you know, like not caring about how I'm feeling or what I'm thinking, or I try to talk to them and share my feelings with them and they just don't care. They're not taking me seriously. Okay, I also feel something with you guys taking yourselves like seriously as well, like what you want and what you need, all right? So I am honest with myself and others. And actually the blue color of the peacock has to do with the throat chakra. And like what we're telling ourselves and what we're telling other people and what other people are telling us, okay? And with the seven of swords, that can get real mixed up, all right? And it can lead to the five of cups and being like, you know, what's true, what's false, you know? And, um, you know, other people can spread their lies and tell their lies or whatever. But pile number two, as long as you're not lying to yourself, then, you know, that can, can keep you keep you safe. I feel like, you know, it can keep you from slipping back maybe into an old pattern as long as you're not lying to yourself. Okay. One time I did a tarot reading for myself and I was in a really bad connection with someone, but I didn't want to admit it to myself. And I asked the tarot cards, am I happy in this relationship? Do you know what I got? Pile number two, the 10 of swords. <laughs> Okay, the Ten of Swords. And I, I tell you guys that just so you know, like, you know, I wasn't being very honest with myself in that moment. I mean, the tarot won't lie to you. <laughs> so you better be ready if you ask it a question. But like, you know, 
yeah, I clearly wasn't happy and that relationship ended a couple days after that, okay? So just to let you guys know, like your happiness is important and don't lie to yourself about that, okay? Pile number two, because you are a special person, you are unique. We have 111, oh, we just saw 111, I just showed it to you and now it's 1111, okay? And it says, I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path I just talked about that, right? Arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and help you wake up to who you really are. Okay, pile number two, being honest with yourself, helping yourself wake up to who you really, really are. You know, is it that you want to have a family? You want to have a commitment with someone? Is it that you want to perform and travel and live freely? Is it, you know, do you want a little of both, right? And to wake up to who you truly are and your power, right? Find your inner strength, waking up to your passion and your power. And these experiences with superficial people who don't know how to be honest with themselves, I mean, at the end of the day, they are very frustrating here because they're not compatible with you and who you are. But, you know, sometimes our pain wakes us up. You know, if we keep trying to shove something into a hole that doesn't fit, eventually we're just like, you know what? It doesn't fit. Like, you know, as much as maybe I wanted that, it, it doesn't work for me and it doesn't fit. Okay. So that peacock energy coming through of strutting your stuff, being proud of who you are and not taking less than you deserve. Psychic abilities. There you go. Pile number two. And I talked about in the intro, how peacock energy is associated with psychic vision because of all the little third eyes all over their tail, like sprinkled everywhere. And you can see all the eyes here. And, um, you know, I don't think your intuition lies to you, pile number two. I mean, sometimes we tell ourselves what we want to think, right? But if you start feeling frustrated and you've got a lot of anxiety and you're not feeling well, but your mind is telling you one thing, different than that, then you know, like the jig is up, like something is going on. Okay. And, um, I wouldn't want to lie to pile number two, pile number two, because I feel like you guys can figure it out. You know what I mean? And, um, you pick up a lot of energy. Okay. You pick up a lot of psychic energy and, um, I feel like you guys are looking at this person or people in your life and saying, I know what you're doing and I know what you're up to and I'm five steps ahead of you, okay? And it is very empowering. Your third eye makes you more powerful, pile number two. Some of you may be quite sensitive emotionally and you may deal with anger and sadness or depression at times like we all do because we're frustrated because something isn't working the way we want it to. Right, but intuitively, I think you know the truth, pile number two, okay? With passion and power, I am awakening my psychic abilities, okay? I am awakening psychic abilities. Let's see what else here. We have the white sage, and this is card 23. And um, it looks like she's been crying. You know, somebody here may have long blonde hair or like, you know, platinum blonde hair, or maybe you had your hair like that at one point. Um, but you know, you know, I think this, she has tears in her eyes, which reminds me of the five of cups, you know, and I feel like you guys have been, you know, angry and upset. And it could have been, you know, at people in your life when you were younger, it could have been with someone in your life recently. Um, but to me, like she looks, you know, she looks like she's been upset about something. All right. And she's not lying to herself about it. It's like, no, like, you know, I'd rather see things for what they are than to believe, you know, some beautiful lie, okay? So with the White Sage, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of this for you guys. This is the Love Your Inner Goddess by Alana Fairchild. And um, let's go ahead and do it, okay? So it says here, it's safe to let things unfold as they will. You do not need to fix things nor try to force something to happen. Yeah, definitely with the frustration, shoving something into something that doesn't work, okay? You don't need to force something to happen. The universe is already working these things out for you. 
There's no need to question your vision, your psychic abilities, okay? There's no need to question your vision or your intuition just because situations are working out differently to how you thought that they would. You know, um, if we, if our psychic abilities could tell us everything and every perfect decision that we needed to make, then, you know, there would be no, everyone's psychic, right? But some people are just working it stronger than others, you know? But if that was the case, we wouldn't have any trials in our lives, okay? So, you know, don't get down on yourself. Pile number two is what I'm saying. There's no need to question your vision or your intuition just because a situation is working out differently um, than how you thought it would. The universe is a little bent and certainly has a sense of humor, right? Do you guys know that term, get bent? <laughs> well, yeah, the universe about the dimensional gateway here. <laughs> the universe is a little bent and um, certainly has a sense of humor, but ultimately it, it is kind and knows the best way to accomplish all that needs to happen. You are very much part of this. All things will come back together in the correct way at the best time. The universe has your back. Trust that you're being helped, okay? the spiritual guidance here is that you have insight psychic abilities you see things that others can miss you understand that to see what is true right true i'm honest with myself and others to see what is true you have to look beneath the surface of superficiality your soul is a sage a wise one you know the value of patience even if it isn't always easy for you to be patient with this frustration here okay you know that sometimes you must wait but that the truth will always emerge eventually so you don't need to rush in and try to figure something out white sage comes to you when you need to know that the truth will become clear at the right time and in a way that you will recognize trust your intuition and value your insight don't torment yourself. Yeah, I just talked about you guys not being too hard on yourself, okay? Don't torment yourself with doubt because you think you've made mistakes in the past. Sometimes we need to have certain experiences and challenges in order to grow and we're temporarily blocked, okay, frustration here, by a higher power from seeing the truth until we are ready for it. For now, all you need is patience, honoring, and trust. At the right time, you will see and understand. And in time, so will others. And it may not be in this lifetime. It may not be in the next one. It may be, you know, maybe when someone crosses over, but in time, all of us are going to see the truth. You know, pile number two, it's a waiting game a lot. In a lot of cases for, you know, and you can't rush anyone else's journey either, you know, because if you guys are really awakening and, and opening up to your power and inner strength, then you're ahead of the game, all right? And not everybody is where you are, all right? Pile number two, and um, you know, and sometimes when we try to degrade ourselves and do things that are less than what we are and we can't make it to fit, although we think it's a perfect match, like that's when the universe like makes that adjustment like the tower card right like it's like it's not my will it's the will of the divine okay and um yeah so for so let's see don't lose your power right it says power here don't lose your power to worries about anyone or anything be at peace with your with yourself and your life when the time is right, you will know what is true and what to do. The highest truth will shine through. Oh, pile number two. I love that. The highest truth will shine through. Pile number two, the highest truth for you, okay? And um, for your life and what it is that you want and you need. And um, yeah, so pile number two, let's go ahead. Did the peacocks have anything else? Peacock spirit have anything else to say to my pile number twos here regarding their life, living it with power and passion, w awakening to their needs and wants, seeing the truth. Okay, peacock spirit, do you have do you have additional messages here for pile number two? The page of wands. Okay, I mean. To me, that says life is starting to look up. There's the passion. Like I see the passion, I see the possibilities, I see the purpose of things. You know, I'm actively creating my own destiny. Um, 
and I'm not like, I'm gonna be curious about life. Instead of, you know, expecting the worst or things like that, I'm just gonna get curious and put myself out there and have new experiences, okay? Talk about passion with the Page of Wands or the Princess of Wands. Very passionate, fiery, powerful. Let's see what else here. A lot of times people don't think of the pages as powerful, but they are, they very much are. They represent the earth, the earthy part of that element, okay? And um, like where things are actually really materializing, okay? So it's like my power, my passion, my purpose is materializing and I can see it coming and I'm excited, okay? And also talking about um, new experiences as far as a, as far as from a passionate and sexual nature too for you as well. Some better vibes and better experiences. Let's see what else. Also the page of wands, like stretch your stuff, okay? Here's your intuition. Here's the high priestess, okay? Look at the two of cups on the bottom of the deck, okay? And, um, I also feel like some the high priestess is looking at the page of wands like, are you serious? You know, <laughs> the page, high priestess looks a little annoyed at the page of wands, finding the page of wands to be um, a little immature or a little too much like their, their spit and game, okay? <laughs> and, um, but I also feel like with the high priestess and the page of wands about creativity and active imagination, okay? And I do feel like someone is going to approach you, whether it's a friend, colleague, whether it's a romantic interest that is, you know, that is really trying to get your attention and shake a tail feather and show you their, you know, cause the male peacocks attract by acting like the page of wands and strutting their stuff, okay? With the high priestess here, I feel like a lot of you are just like, you know, if you only want me for superficial reasons and it's not a spiritual connection, then I'm not into it, okay? But I do think like, don't close yourself off, pile number two. If somebody new is trying to get to know you or to get more about you, um, you guys may be coming off as kind of aloof or mysterious or not super open to that, all right? But um, I also feel like Spirit is saying, your intuition's gonna be able to tell you if someone's just fun, exciting, and cool, and and creative and interesting, or if they're just a superficial player. You know what I mean in your life? A superficial player in your life. I feel like your guys' intuition um, is gonna see that quickly going forward, okay? And here's the two of cups, and um, talking about that mirror or that reflection. And look, it's coming in fast with the eight of wands, all right? Um, but I also feel like Spirit is saying, don't shut everyone down. Give people a chance to um, approach you or pursue you or give them a chance to court you. And if you don't like it, then you can say bye, right? But I feel like your guys' intuition is so on point um, that you're gonna be able to tell between people who have, you know, positive intentions of wanting to actively get to know you versus ones who are just playing games, okay? So that is what I am getting for you, pile number two. I hope that that reading resonated for you and I hope you were able to find some truth in it. And um, if you enjoy my reading, you can certainly, you know, like the video, that's totally free to do. Subscribe to my channel. Also, I have a tip jar in my description box below for those of you that would like to show me a little love. Thank you so much, pile number two, and take care. We're gonna move on to pile number three. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just gonna get a little spray here. Pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the green tea light and today's reading is called Peacock Spirit Messages. Strut your stuff, okay? Pile number three, we are gonna go ahead and get into it. For those of you that are wondering, what does a peacock have to do with that? You can certainly listen to my intro where I go through various facts and information about the peacock, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. Spirits, angels, and guides, please connect me to the energy of pile number three who comes here today seeking your guidance. 
Thank you for allowing me to be the medium and the channel between yourself and pile number three. All right, so Spirit just said Lollapalooza to me, which I think is in Chicago, right? So maybe some of you have a connection to Chicago. Um, is that festival still going on? Maybe some of you have been to a music festival or you like going to music festivals. Um, or maybe you liked to when you were younger, etc. Let's see, are you planning something? Let's see, with friends, all right? I feel like there could be an event for you guys coming up with friends. Um, or maybe you guys are gonna get a chance to go see party or go see your favorite, you know, your favorite musician, or maybe some of you here really like EDC as well. But anyway, pile number three, let's go ahead. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see. For, and when you go to those types of places, of course you wanna dress up and a lot of people dress to like get certain attention, which is very much like a peacock, you know, strutting their stuff and everyone's kind of noticing them or looking at them. Um, and there's like a certain glamor around people, you know, and you can just tell when they enter a room. So maybe you guys are working on that, you know, inner glamor queen and reflecting that out into the world, okay? And um, there's nothing wrong with loving yourself, pile number three. Let's see what else here. Okay, Spirit is talking to me about brown boots or a pair of brown boots. Maybe you guys were going through your shoes or you're like, oh, I need a new pair of brown boots at some point here. Or maybe you, I mean, it's summertime, so it's not really a time for boots, but... <laughs> These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do, pile number three. Someday these boots are going to walk all over you. Dun, 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 dun. Anyway, pile number three. Let's see what I, <laughs> any other channeled messages for pile number three, please. All right. Spirit is talking about somebody like swimming laps in a swimming pool. Um, maybe someone likes to do that for exercise, or maybe you had a grandparent that did that or a parent that did that faithfully every morning and swore by it as a way to keep younger. <laughs> Let's see what else here for pile number three. I'm laughing because that's cute. Um, pile number three. Okay. I just heard something about meditation. So maybe some of you just meditated or you're trying to do that more often. All right. I just heard meditation station. So maybe somebody needs to set up an area for peace and calm or meditation or is setting up a little area like that. What else for... Um, <laughs> All right, Spirit just told me like Old Glory. I don't know what that is, if it's a brand of clothes or what it is, or but something about Old Glory. I feel like that should be a name of a horse or something. Okay, pile number three, but let's go ahead. There's the Page of Swords. So curious and exciting. Let's go ahead and see for the Peacock Spirit. Let's just get a few cards out here for pile number three. Spirit, can you show me a few cards here to set? Ooh, all right, there's the Ten of Pentacles. Hey now, and um, let's see what else. Let's see what else here. I feel like some of you may be thinking, you know, can I have that life? Like, would I be happy in that life? Because the Page of Swords isn't really um, settling down too much, but maybe some of you are thinking of settling down or, um, you know, being a living life a bit more on a bit more solid ground here. Okay, anything else here for the Peacock energy? The star card. Ooh, that's nice. Pile number three. And um, this is like, this is what I wish and this is what I hope for. And um, very, I mean, the star card, very much about that blue, that beautiful blue, that pool of water. The dweller between waters is the star card and she's associated with Aquarius, okay? And um, talking about like wishing upon a star, also talking about being a star, like being very special, being very unique, getting noticed, right? Looking in the mirror and seeing, you know, what we really want or seeing what we like, talking about our confidence. Whenever I see the star card, I always think of um, body confidence as well, okay? And... Um, yeah, and just having, you know, being being comfortable with letting people really see you and shining, which really has to do with that peacock energy. We have the five of wands on the bottom of the deck. So people competing for in a competition, right, to be the leader 
or in a competition where no one really knows like what they're doing or how to do things right, that type of thing. And things get very confusing. It gets very old, you know, and, um, yeah. And it's just like, I mean, sometimes healthy competition can drive us to, um, achieving more, but I also just feel like, you know, you guys are at a point now where you're recognizing the value of yourself and you're recognizing like what it is that you really want and what you value in life, which definitely has to do with that peacock energy. Okay. So let's go ahead and see for my pile number threes, we have blessing and thanks for an abundant universe. Also, I just want to say for those of you that, um, because I talked about in the beginning about peacock energy. And if you need to do like a job interview, or if you're looking to increase your self-employed and you're looking to increase your business, or you need to somehow stand out from the crowd, I feel like pile number three, your best option is to really let yourself shine and be yourself and also do something very consistently because the 10 of pentacles is definitely an energy of being consistent. And, um, you know, and not having to continually fight for your place or having to prove yourself all the time. Okay. So, you know, it's like a huge boost of self-confidence for you guys and also money, money, money. And I feel like the more confident you guys are and the more comfortable you are with yourselves with the star card the more money that you can make the more like stability that you can have in your life okay and um you know you're like building the life that the most ideal version of your life i feel so let's see here pride oh my god there's the peacock pile number three Wow. Oh my gosh. You guys, and this is the white peacock that is completely white and its tail and its entire body is completely white. And look at this peacock card that I had here, um, pulled out and I was looking at it, you know, of course, during this whole reading and you know, the male peacock, um, has, is the one with the tail and all of that. Okay. But pride, oh my God, you have nothing to prove, okay? So, you know, with this five of wands of people constantly competing and, and maybe feeling like you're not good enough or feeling like people aren't really noticing you, you know, I feel like you're going to be very noticed, pile number three. So get comfortable with that, get used to it, and also know that you're a superstar, okay? And... um you know, some people may not always like appreciate that about you. They might not always appreciate you in general, I feel like. But the point is, pile number three, that no matter what, you're appreciating you and you don't have anything to prove to anybody else, okay? And if your journey has been very unique compared to other people's, so what? Okay. You are you and, um, you stand out, you know, the white peacock is very, very unique and, um, is very rare. I think, um, as I was reading about it and talking about that pride and dignity and self. Okay. So you don't have to prove maybe some of you very different than your family or taking a very different path than your family. And it's like, you know, you don't have anything to prove to anybody, okay? And a lot of you are going to be awarded with great abundance in your life too, simply for just, you know, being you. And I think the more you embrace you, the more abundant your life is going to get. We have a kindred spirit. Share your feelings with someone you can relate to and trust, okay? Yeah, because I feel like, you know, some people may have put you on the defensive here with the five of wands or made you feel like you constantly have to defend yourself or made you feel like, you know, unless you're in the mosh pit of life with everyone else trying to step on other people's heads, you're, <laughs> you're not going to get ahead, right? There's a grace and a dignity to the peacock spirit too. And that, you know, it's like getting out of the rat race in a way, even if you are, you know, 
out there doing your own thing, self-employed or whatever it is that you're trying to build in your life, pile number three, okay? Some of you may have a friend or a kindred spirit that does something similar to you or works at your company, um, but being able to talk to someone and tell them like your feelings and tell them, you know, so that you have an outlet, okay? So that you have an outlet. And um, yeah, talking to people that you can really trust and finding that kindred spirit, okay? And we have here, we have Mercury, messages, travel, and communication. We saw that page of swords on the bottom of the deck um, at the beginning of your reading, so that doesn't surprise me. And um, yeah, so maybe we have... Some of this communication is underwater and some of it is above. So, you know, trying to discern where people are coming from, maybe when they say certain things to you or when they, you know, tell you things, right? Like maybe wanting to think about that pile number three. Also, the Ten of Pentacles in the Tarot is Mercury in Virgo. And Virgo, Mercury loves to be in Virgo. You know, Mercury is exalted in Virgo. Uh, it's a good sign for Mercury to be in. So your communication, if you feel like your message or the thing that you're trying to get across is getting drowned out by other people, I feel like Spirit is saying, get ready to have that message elevated, okay? Get ready to get noticed and have your message be elevated, okay? And um, we have decisions here, okay? What I want versus... You know, what I want something to be, the ideal, you know, versus what the way the situation really is in reality, okay? So some decisions needing to come up here. And the peacock is very decisive and confident. It represents healthy yang energy, right? So needing to communicate a decision about something you guys are deciding to do. Some of you may need to be you, you're like, I'm leaving this company, I'm leaving this profession, um, you know, or needing to make a decision like I want a, a higher paying gig or, you know, should I continue down this path or not? Where does this path lead? Okay, so probably a need to communicate some decisions here as well. Pile number three, all right? And we have here Pluto and transformation. Wow. So talking about your motivation, your personal power, and your evolution. The thing that I love about peacocks is that they shed their feathers every season after mating season, and they go through a molting process like snakes do, okay? And when we think of Pluto and that shedding of the skin and that new you know, that new thing that comes out of all the transformation and work that we've been doing, okay? And um, this talking about an intensity and a reckoning and a clearing, okay? Especially around your abundance and a, too, okay? So some of you may be taking some risks or needing to make a decision about work, I feel like here, pile number three, all right? Or maybe some of you are vastly changing, the way that you operate these days, okay? And um, some people might be blindsided or bugged by the decisions that you're making, but I feel like at the end of the day, pile number three, you have to live for you. We have flow. Yeah, look at that beautiful blue energy and this communication, this flow of communication. The way you communicate may stop people in their tracks, pile number three, but you know, I I don't think you have anything to prove, okay? Because when you're in the flow, you know, you guys connect very well to, to spirit, to source with the star here. You know, very special energy when you're in the flow and you're feeling confident about yourself. You're, you know, it's, it's increasing your abundance, I feel, pile number three, okay? And the peacock spirit saying, flow with the decisions and transformations that are happening to you right now in your life, okay? And there may be some type of surprising communication that cause you, causes you to have to make a decision and move in a different direction. But I mean, I feel like Spirit is saying with this flow and pride, for you, pile number three is to be comfortable with the changes because, you know, like no matter what, you can rely on you 
And I think that's a big message here, okay? Um, you've always been able to rely on yourself, you know? Um, and you've always been able to, to do that, I feel, pile number three. And you've always been able to go against the grain, I feel like, too, if you need to, you know? And um, that's, a, that's a very good thing. I choose to nourish myself and enrich my life. Yeah, with kindred spirits, okay? Share your feelings with someone you can relate and trust and um, choose to nourish yourself and enrich your life instead of having to prove who you are and what you want and why you're doing what you're doing to everybody else, okay? And I feel like with this Pluto transformation, this could be something that's really changing in your life. And with Pluto, we can talk about um, rebirth and cycles, all right? And um, the shedding of the skin or the shedding of the feathers and then growing them back bigger and brighter and stronger, okay? And um, some, I feel like someone in your life has a suspicion that you may be communicating a certain decision about something, pile number three. Okay, and um, some people may be worried that you're gonna like leave them behind is another thing that I'm getting, okay? Um, and they may say things to you in order to subvert you so that you don't make certain decisions or so you don't leave, or they may make you feel like you have to prove yourself all the time. You know, at work, maybe some of you felt like you always had to go overboard and prove yourself just to get people to listen to you or pay attention to you, okay? And some of you were just very different than the environment that you were born into. Or even though you may work in some type of a traditional atmosphere with the Ten of Pentacles, you're very different, okay? And some of you are needing to make some decisions here that are gonna change everything with Pluto because Pluto will make you dig deep you know, it'll make you dig deep. And sometimes with Pluto, we got to lose a lot to gain a lot. But when we recover, we're so much more grateful um, for an abundant universe. It's like, even if the ground is shifting around me, I still have myself, okay? And we have here, nine, nine. Some of you may have life path number nine, but it says, I am courageous, okay? It is time to get to the work of realization of your soul's mission in this lifetime. Pile number three, okay? You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours, star, okay? That is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power, Pluto, okay? Pluto definitely having to do with personal power and pride, right, and courage. You don't have anything to prove, all right? You're flowing with life. You're making the decisions you need to make. You're communicating them with ease, okay? And um, just because you don't do everything like everyone else, you have your own unique style about you. And we have here trust, right? So you guys are at um, a fork in the road, okay? I feel like, and um, let's see how many birds we have here. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Looks like eight birds, okay? Um, I'm just thinking of that song by Sugar Ray from back in the day, I Just Wanna Fly. Put your arm, you know, put your arms around me, baby. I just wanna fly, okay? She looks like she is about to step off this cliff here and fall into the waters, okay? Fall into the flow fall into the pond here with the star card, okay? Fall into the pool of water and just flow with it, okay? And changes are happening in your life, pile number three, but with the 10 of pentacles, you're gonna be very secure. And I think whatever it is that you need to communicate about certain decisions, it's gonna be fine and you're gonna do it very, very well, okay? We have trust. Trust the decisions and the flow and the changes that are happening in your life, okay? And um, pride, right? That's a huge thing about the peacock. Healthy pride is a good thing. You know what I mean? It's not, um, and I see maybe there's been times in your guys' life when you've kind of like bowed down or taken a second fiddle or you haven't really been able to um, fully embody 
the person that you are, okay? And I think that is changing big time, pile number three. Wow, we have freaking beautiful pile number three. It's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be boring. Yeah, any day of the week. And like I said, you guys don't fit anybody, other people's mold. You do have kindred spirits or you will have kindred spirits around you that you can talk to, I feel like here, pile number three. Um, but spirit just reminding you it's better to be um, ridiculous or have people think that you're totally ridiculous because of decisions you're making or the way you're changing. It's better to have people think you're totally ridiculous than to be boring and to be stuck and to just be doing what everyone else is doing as a way to please other people, okay? So, you know, some people thought I was crazy McCrazy son when I quit my corporate career to be a tarot reader full time, but you know, whatever, it's my life to live, it's your life to live as well, pile number three. And um, some of the decisions that you're making right now are incredibly important for you, okay? And I think that's why the peacock is coming through so strongly for you. Like the peacock actually showed up in your reading right here to show you like you're on the right path. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. Like keep being unique, keep shining, keep being you, okay? And um, I'm gonna read a little bit of this freaking beautiful card. And um, okay, so it says, this is from the Love Your Inner Goddess by Alana Fairchild. You are here to march to the, your own beat of the drum. You can be happy and free, whether the world looks at you with awe and admiration, confusion, or love, or all of these things at once. Others can love you even if they can't always understand you. Being different doesn't have to mean being alone. Yeah, kindred spirits, okay? If you're watching this reading pile number three, then you know, you're a kindred spirit with me. I already know, okay? Um, it's only when you try to change yourself to fit into a stereotype. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, the drawback could be fitting oneself into a stereotype there, okay? Um, that you will feel that you lose your way when you fit into a stereotype. Becoming unhappy, discovering obstacles, and feeling increasingly rejected or defeated. The universe doesn't want you to be someone else. It wants you to be you. Be yourself, everyone else is taken, right? Pile number three. When you quit trying to fit in and enjoy being you, you win. Normal is not for you. Don't be afraid of that. Deep down, you are the good kind of crazy, an individual. You would never be happy trying to be the same as everyone else. You have an inner sense of justice and a need to question authority when it doesn't earn your respect. Ooh, pile number three. I love that. I love that about you. Good for you. They may make, this may make some people uncomfortable while it inspires others to think for themselves. Uh, while, while it may inspire other people to think for themselves and not automatically assume that everything in the world they're told is correct. We need more of this in our world. You are a free thinker with a different point of view than most people, all right? Your own unique point of view, the star card, okay? And um, this isn't a sign that something is wrong with you, but a sign of something special, a gift to see and to express things differently. Yeah, this communication, right? Expressing, communicating differently in the flow, okay? And um, the world needs more of that too. Your weird streak is a proverbial breath of fresh air, preventing unimaginative collapse into board the boredom of sameness. It also makes you a divine poster child for others who want to break free from conformity and unapologetically to truly be themselves. It means that you get to dream up your own identity and destiny and you don't have to worry what everyone else has to say about it, right? You have nothing to prove. The universe will support you every step of the way, blessing and abundance and 10 of pentacles, okay? Money-wise, pile number three, everything's gonna be okay. The universe will support you every step of the way because it so enjoys you just being you. I love that pile number three and um, the peacock energy I talked about in the beginning about not having any shame 
and just being able to be yourself and to be, you know, strong and sturdy within that. Okay. So I love that. I am courageous and your journey is inspiring. Okay. With the star card pile number three, your journey is inspiring to other people. Not everyone can live that way, you know? Not everyone is here to inspire other people or to help people think freely or differently, okay? Not everyone communicates the same way that you do. That's fine, you know? It can get a little bit lonely, pile number three, and I know that. So, you know, talking about kindred spirits and um, choosing to nourish yourself and enrich your life with kindred spirits, okay? And um, let's see, for pile number three spirit, can you let us know what the peacock spirit animal totem has to say to pile number three regarding this reading? What else, what else would the peacock like to share with my pile number threes, please? Okay, changing the way you're thinking, making different decisions, trusting where you're headed, taking a different path than other people, pile number three, something that's uniquely yours, okay? Let's go ahead and see for pile number three. We have here strength, absolutely, right? And we talked about I am courageous. It's time to get up and work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life that is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power, strength, okay? And um, shining, radiating, you know, and you guys don't need to put other people down to shine. Do you know what I'm saying? And, you know, with the seven of wands on the bottom of the back deck, it hasn't been the easiest for you. And I do feel like there are some people in your life that try to trigger you to, like, be angry or to fight with them or to the people that get very uncomfortable and agitated because you're just living your life the way you want to, okay? And um, also I feel like sometimes people really questioning your decisions, like with this decisions or really like, you know, putting you down or questioning your decisions or at times maybe telling you like you're ridiculous with this ridiculous card okay like it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be absolutely boring okay so with the strength card it's like stand tall stand stand proud okay your ego isn't going to take over and run you into the ground you actually have very good command of your ego pile number three it's people who need to be like everyone else because they're afraid of their own ego. They're afraid of the shadow of their own ego. They're afraid of their own shadow. I feel like those people have a weird ego problem. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with wanting what you want. Just make sure it's actually what you want, you know, and um, it takes courage because not everybody in this lifetime has the same goal or destination. But this world, our family, friends, etc., will try to tell us, no, you're supposed to live your life this way, like I am. Aren't you like me? Question mark. Because they need that validation because their own ego is so weak that they can't really live, you know, without some kind of external validation all the time. Okay. So, you know, with this strength card, you guys are extremely powerful and strong. And if you need to fight a motherfucker with the seven of wands, you will. But I also feel like you guys are my peaceful warriors. Okay, pile number three, because it's more in your nature just to do things and prove who you are by what you're doing and aligning your words and your actions. Okay, and that's something you can really, really take pride in. Okay, and of course, you know, we have the lion on the strength card talking about pride, right? And, um, you know, a group of lions is called a pride, which is always so interesting to think about. Also, for those of you in my LGBTQ community that are not like everybody else that have had a different life and different things, and for anybody, right? Anybody that's had different things about them, just stand tall, stand proud, okay? Pile number three, because you know, you're an inspiration to the rest of us. So thank you so much, pile number three. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you love that reading, you can like it, you can share, you can subscribe. Also, I do have a little tip jar in my description box if you feel like showing me some love today. Keep shining, everybody. Keep having the courage to be yourself. Take care, my loves.